Hey, what's up, guys? It's Craig Syracuse of Walking Faith. Happy Monday. It's October 4th. I want to give a special thanks to John Heyer. Yesterday, you did a fantastic job at your parish. It's a beautiful event. He is always present. Jesus arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm, and that's Mark. An ocean-going craft can be tossed in great storms, but underneath the surface, there is no storm. All is perfectly quiet. No sound, no turmoil, not even a ripple. The sea is perfectly calm. There is a remarkable fact that illustrates what our Lord must have been talking about when he promised his disciples his peace. He told them that because they were followers, they would have trouble in this world. See what it says, would. He declared that some of them would even be persecuted because they were his disciples, and most of them were executed, by the way. But he also made the promise that he would never leave those who followed him and that his constant presence would be the means whereby they could experience his peace. Friend, do you see how his presence brings you to his peace? He is the inner stability, security, and comfort that never leaves you. Storms may rage against you, but you can always take heart because the one who has overcome the world dwells in you and defends you. And that's John. Thank you, Lord Jesus, your constant presence and the peace you bring me. Amen. And his presence claim his promise to always be there. It's the misconception that when you believe you, you've built a relationship with Christ or I'm a follower of Christ or I made my sacraments or I tie that nothing will happen. And that is the complete opposite. He says, he promises that you, he will be with you. You will be at peace, but you will face adversity. You will face storms, but he will always be along with you. He will always give you that inner peace. But what happens is the voice of the enemy, the voice of insecurity, or the voice of not understanding what a relationship was like in Christ or misinterpreting the Bible, that when the storm comes, the first thought that comes is says, if God was real, if he was really for you, then... This wouldn't be happening to you, right? That voice is so clear. But if you understand the Bible, if you understand a relationship with Christ, you know that that is not the voice of God. That voice comes, you have to say, no, that is not God. I know that I will face adversity. I know that I will face challenges and storms, but God will be with me. He talks about it in the Bible. He talks about how we will be persecuted. That the disciples, if you're a follower of Christ, you need to carry a cross. He is letting us know that there will be times that are very tough, but he will always be along the ride. He will always be there with you to hold your hand, to give you the strength to get through the adversity. And when you get through the adversity, you look back and you say, God was there all along. The first thing you have to do is when that voice comes, is silence that voice and know that's not the voice of God. I'm telling you now that if you're going to walk away from a relationship with Christ because of, of a storm, because because adversity, because you lost the job, then you might as well quit now. This relationship with Christ is for people that are willing to go through the storm, to carry the cross, to no matter what happens, never give up and know that God is always with you. This is a relationship with Jesus Christ. This isn't just a Sunday thing. Until next time, always remember, you're the built-in spine evangelist, new words and actions. God bless you. Follow me on YouTube for Minute Motivation.